Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 20th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Grateful to have you aboard. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Daily Do. Let's start out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. No major solar flares or coronal mass ejections to report. Still watching some pretty active sunspot regions outgoing and incoming. And as well, plasma filaments dancing around the polar regions. Having a closer look here at the last 48 hours incoming. This is where we did see a couple M-class solar flares from fiery sunspot region on the left-hand side. Big plasma filament stretching from the surface there, eventually destabilizing. But not so much in the outgoing position. There's still some remnants here hanging around. Tall plasma prominence dancing on the surface of our sun. Looking at multi-spectrum here, active sunspot regions and as well, Earth-facing coronal hole. equatorial region solar winds are about 400 kilometers per second looking at 131 angstroms here amazing images brought to you by solar dynamics observatory bright flashes there left hand side incoming m flares big plasma filaments there you can see them on the southern region of our sun and right now we have six earth facing sunspots have a look at these sunspot regions in motion. This is sped up and this is 48 hours of imagery. Thank you so much for watching everybody. If you're enjoying these images and information shared, strike the like. Current space weather conditions. We are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts expected from the most recent C-class and M-class solar flares. Solar winds are right now coming in at 4 371 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux. Moderate M-class solar flares yesterday. And minor M-class solar flare today. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity coming down now to a KP1. Having a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center showing their space weather spiral. Minor geomagnetic instability coming in here for the 21st. And no major solar storms headed our way. Corona mass ejection here being shown outgoing position from Iswa. Getting ready for the Mercury retrograde coming up at the end of November, first week of December. Watch for an increase in seismicity when that event starts. Having a look at Lasco 2 here, showing the last two days of imagery. Coronal mass ejections, but not Earth-facing. From sunspot regions incoming, reducing M-class solar flares. A broader spectrum here, just some amazing images. Strike the like if you enjoy this right now. Staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. <clears throat> Excuse me. And thank you so much for pressing play, subscribing, and as well, all of the amazing love and support to this channel. Now let's get to earthquakes, family. The last 24 hours, Earth looking like a pincushion right now. Lots of deep earthquakes. Those elevated rings, those are deep thrust earthquakes. Tonga region is seeing a 566 kilometer depth, 5.5 and a 5.1 through the Tonga region, active today. As well, Indonesia here with a 463 kilometer depth, Marianas Trench, 281 kilometer depth, 4.9, and then notable earthquake here, eastern Russia, Vostok, Russia, 5.1 earthquake, 407 kilometer depth. And then Japan started rocking, 4.9s and 4.7 northward. 4.4 earthquake here in Kashgar, China. And as well, bam, Iran, 4.3. South Atlantic here towards the Ant Antarctic, South Sandwich Islands, 5.0 magnitude. And then look at this, the North Pole, Greenland Sea rocking a 5.7 earthquake. That's a pretty large earthquake for the region. Don't normally report earthquakes there. Caribbean plate, 
quiet today. North American plate, quiet today as well. No major earthquake swarms to report. USGS is reporting just under 200 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. This is a look at the last 24 hours. Deep earthquakes the last 24 hours. So please stay aware and prepared. We can expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow all of these most recent events. I'll give you a quick glance here. Showing the last seven days for shakers and boomers across the world. And we've seen multiple deep earthquakes this week. So heads up, we've got low numbers and deep earthquakes. Lots of movement. Something is brewing right now. And with the intense atmospheric pressure that's occurring in the northern hemisphere right now, northern polar vortex setting up for winter 2025, huh, just be ready. Now let's carry on here with the air quality forecast showing the sulfur dioxide emissions for the next few days. Brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes. There are 69 across the planet. Popopakarito, Kilauea, and as well the multiple eastern Russia, Kamchatka volcanoes active there. Overlooking Africa and Europe, South America. No new major plumes to report. Southeast Asia, Australia, and Indonesia. Interesting plumes coming out of central Russia. And as well, lots of SO2 coming out of China this week. Now let's have a look at world weather. Starting out here, overlooking Southeast Asia and Australia. We do have a possible cyclone here developing for next weekend. Or sorry, this weekend for Eastern India. By Monday, we'll be making landfall to then watch it quickly scoot eastward towards Myanmar. Australia, you're going to see a big low move in towards the end of the week. Watch for extreme weather with that event. Overlooking Europe, Africa, and South America. Watch for daily evaporation rains all across South America this week. Pretty strong systems heading into the UK and Ireland. And waves of moisture in the long range towards Spain. And an interesting low developing for the long range, the Mediterranean. Now let's have a look at North America. As we did just have that big bomb cyclone invade the West Coast, BC, Washington, and Oregon. Packing winds of 130 kilometers per hour in some regions along the West Coast. That is hurricane force, my friends and family. At a very high latitude. Long range forecast, big winter storm developing for the Atlantic provinces and as well Ontario as that bomb cyclone finally breaks up over the Rockies and sends one of these quick moving lows across Ontario and eastern United States. Watch for extreme weather with that event. And then big systems still racing towards the west coast here. Atmospheric rivers of moisture will be the story over the next couple weeks. I wanted to share here with you satellite imagery of the bomb cyclone that attacked Canadian province of British Columbia with a lot of rain, heavy snow in mountainous regions, and hurricane force winds. Thousands of people are without power, especially along the coastline. That's where they were receiving the strongest winds. But you can see this low-pressure system is scooting westward as it was not able to penetrate the Rockies, settling itself right on the coastline of the Pacific Ocean. This looks like a hurricane, folks. Acted like a hurricane. It must be a hurricane. The bomb cyclone of 2024 will be a story to tell for ages to come. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now.